We showed you last week how the government is changing nutritional rules for school lunches. Los Angeles is already changing its school menus after a challenge from a famous television chef. As Bill Whitaker reports, he's also taking on some fast food giants and winning. Okay, this is not fit for human consumption. Why Celebrity chef and food activist Jamie Oliver is a man on a mission to stop the use of what he calls pink slime. Beef scraps no one would choose to eat, reprocessed and repurposed for use in hamburger patties. We're taking a product that would be sold at the cheapest form for dogs. And after this process, we can give it to humans. The first salvo in his high-profile food fight, this stomach-turning demonstration on his TV show, Food Revolution, nine months ago. We're going to wash these lean bits of beef in a water and ammonia solution. Ammonium hydroxide, to be exact, to kill off bacteria. It's all FDA approved. This is a practice that is openly sort of admitted to being in at least 70% of ground beef products. That kind of puts it everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Last week, McDonald's announced it's no longer using the controversial beef. In a corporate statement, McDonald's said the decision was not related to any particular event. Still, Oliver said he's thrilled. If he considered McDonald's a victory, he'd have to call L.A. a loss. City schools rejected his offer for a healthy menu makeover and decided to go it alone. The healthier it gets, the more disgusting it is. Some can barely describe what it is. It's called like a barbecue sandwich, but it kind of looks like an imitation sloppy joe. So the district keeps trying, testing healthy, tastier foods on kids and parents. Any food that she says that it's good for me, I don't, I think I'm not going to like it. But this time? I like the hummus in the water. Seriously, he's shoveling it in. Like Jamie Oliver, the schools want healthy foods, but they're learning kids will only eat what's good for them if it tastes good. For CBS This Morning, this is Bill Whitaker in Los Angeles.